Officials at Renew Bahamas are tonight still battling that blaze which erupted Sunday at the site. Firefighters have extinguished a section of the blaze at the rear of the materials, materials recycling facility, resulting in smoke being reduced. When our news team visited the dump site today, crews were seen breaking bales of recyclable products and drenching it with water in an attempt to suppress the levels of smoke. Chief Operations Officer Michael Cox says extinguishing the blaze has been challenging as they accumulated a lot of stock for export over the holidays. Cox says the company remains relentless in its efforts to extinguishing this fire and preventing future ones from taking place. This wasn't caused by one of the underground fires, it wasn't caused by a subterranean fire. Uh, the landfill itself is still fine and running, there's no issues there. Uh, what we're now trying to understand is, uh, well we know that from running the MRF for over a year, the compaction vehicles, the rolling off vehicles, uh, the commercial and uh, supermarkets, the recyclers that are in there, they've for the last year not had any challenges, we've not had any fires caused by them. We know now of a categories of truck that have been tipping here uh, what is in there uh, and we're now looking to those categories of trucks to see if we can find if it's a hot load. Uh, we've got investigations going on with us having two security people right next to us, uh, what we think might have happened uh, and we're now looking to see what further instigations we can do to try and split apart what's coming into the site and what's causing the fires. Apart from it being a major nuisance, battling these fires have been extremely costly for Renew and government. Environment Minister the Honorable Kendra Dorset was at the site today to clear up misconceptions circulating in the public. He's expected to report to Cabinet and make recommendations. He believes stringent regulations will be key to tackling this vexing issue. We know that there are some contractors who regularly use the landfill who have refused literally to tip their garbage where they are required to tip the garbage to avoid problems at the landfill. And Renew trying to accommodate some of those persons created temporary tipping areas. There are new rules and new regulations associated with use of this facility. The rules are set in place to avoid hot loads coming into the landfill uh, avoid these sort of things happening.